I don't know what they need it for, but they can't be allowed to take it. I'll keep an eye on things a while longer. In the meantime, why don't you go check out the town? In the last episode, we took down a Team Magma hideout. In this episode, we'll take down a Team Aqua hideout. Because that's how badass Booger and her Pokemon have become. They just take down hideouts now, left and right. Stop! Booger demands. You tell us where your leader is. Pathetic Puchietta will embarrass it. You sure did lose it. With a critical hit. What was your job? To lose in one move? <laughs> Not impressed so far. But he's just the first grunt that they put at the entrance. The most dispensable one. Oh, I found something. These teleporters are just like the stuff you find in the first Pokemon games. Pretty sure they were in a Team Rocket base. Just a Carvana. Couldn't that have evolved by level 32? I would just let, let it evolve. Why didn't you? How foolish. Would have stood a better chance. Well, so far, not, not worried. You've all been weak. What's over here? Hang on. What else is in this room first? Double battle. We're ready. I mean, actually, to be honest, both of their uniforms, both teams have kind of cool uniforms, I've, I, I feel. They're both pretty good. I enjoy Team Aqua's pirate thing they have going. And Team Magma's just a little more unique. The hoods and everything, they look kind of ominous with the hoods, and I like that. The hoods are nice. You know, good good idea with the hoods. Ah, 
pirate. You know, dressing like a pirate, that always works. That never doesn't work. Two Zubat. Two Bat. Faint attack them. They still got one. Oh no. Were we too confident? Taking on Zubat with grass types. I figured we could because we were more evolved and higher level. I think we're still fun. gets to dine on fish. One absorb. Imagine if Wactus was the one I gave Giga Drain to. Yikes. Scary what that would do. Could. I could reconsider my idea to give that to Cedar Stick and give it to Wactus instead. She's right. Cool uniform is a consolation. We already knew that. We already saw your boss steal the submarine. He he yelled at it in a mega. He he yelled that in a megaphone. To make sure we knew. <laughs> Surprise. Seed. I've never seen Bullet Seed do that much damage, wow. It ought to. What a weakling. I don't think that could be good enough for anybody. That was pathetic. One weak Carvana. And something. Pokeball I'll probably never use. See? Look at this. This is fascinating. The exact same behavior we found in the Magma Hideout. Even after they lose, they still pace around and pretend they don't just have a dead Pokemon. They pretend they're still useful. So a supervisor thinks, oh, they haven't lost already. They haven't already failed at their job. It's a survival strategy. It's kind of sick that we see this. Uh, in multiple hideouts of multiple teams, you know. Like it's a systemic problem.
fuel supply, and increased snacks. I wonder what kind of snacks they get. Probably junk food. Probably wouldn't want anything too perishable in a submarine. You can take a zoo bat. Any more evolved bat, you know. We'll pull a seed just to go, but Zubat it can take. He didn't hold us up that long. Could this be a double battle? I'm liking my grass dark combo. They're doing well. I'm not that clueless. It's not that hard to get around. We're also not that tired out, because you're all weak. So they learn... They learn how the warp tiles in this place connect, but they don't learn, like why they go to a museum, or why they go to Mount Pyre. They don't learn, like, the reasons behind the objectives of their organization. Just to less important things. Petty details. Like a dumb maze. Typical cult behavior, you know? Right? Not tired at all? You're just too weak to tire us out at all. And you were too busy thinking about warp panels, because your organization told you to just learn about warp panels instead of anything that matters. She lost the Master Ball. That's a pretty big mistake. You'd probably be like fired for that, I'd imagine. Oh. I remember this. He sees you there, but then you can go over here if you want. Oh shit. That works you back to the start. I forgot that. That might be good, because there's actually something... Something else I forgot over here. Did I get it first try? I did. That was just luck, I don't remember that actually. Not at all. I do remember this being a trap though. To hide something. I think I know what it is. I think. Electrode. It's a little concerning. 
Who has the highest defense? Whoa. Pelican. Could survive an explosion. That's how tough it is. I just sent it in against an electric type just because of one move that I knew Electrode can do. And in Generation 1, I didn't know any electric moves in my defense. And I've played those games a lot. I'm trying to defend how stupid it was to do that when I probably should have gone with Huactus. What a pain in the ass, Electrode. We have to dispatch it. At any cost. Oh no! Please, they see it. Please. Good. That'll help. Unless it just explodes and renders it all meaningless. Paint attack. It keeps screeching. I'm worried about that. I might want to switch practice. Messed up by an electrode. It isn't even owned by a trainer, it's just left here. Left here to act independently. Put in Bake Snake. To finish it off. Hopefully. That electrode really was just practicing the psychological warfare any more than anything else. It knew that we knew it was capable of using an explosion, but it didn't use explosion. It just kept using other moves. As if anticipating us. Scary. Look at the result. I almost killed Helican. Psychologically manipulated me into switching Helican in. That's a clever electrode there. Or I was just really stupid. Got a nugget. Is there gonna be another electrode? If so, I'm gonna let Wactus handle it right away. I'm not gonna leave any of any of these things here. I have to make sure I get every item. Destroying every electrode is just collateral damage. I'll take this one down. Oh look, self-destruct. Not explosion, but still. Similar move. And Wactus handled it. Good. I knew it could take it. a move like that. It's got pretty good defense. Decent HP. A 
it deserves super potion. And the last thing is a uh, master ball. Good. Now let's go see what was at the end there. I think I've pretty much done everything here. to just walk through without being stopped. They all just watch Booger uneasily, not wanting a second thrashing. You all did underestimate Booger. Are you a cut above? I hope so. I want this to be fun. You're gonna pulverize. We'll see. Admin. Admin. Matt. Matt with a Mediana. I've taken down a higher level Mediana recently, I think. I think we can handle this one. dangerous to do when you're being rock smashed by a Nuzleaf with anger issues. Hmm. Feels like a little bit of a gamble right now to keep trying this, but I'm going to keep trying it. See what happens. Gambled and lost. How much HP? 133, wow. Hyper potions are becoming more and more useful to me now. Pokemon are growing a lot of HP, especially C Distic. Look at that HP. 133? That's a lot of HP. Damn it! What? This median is an asshole. Or this admin is an asshole, I should say. Poison thing. Wow. Oh, you have a super potion. Might still take it down here. Not quite. Damn it. That's annoying. Still persevered. level ups. Oh now Bake Snake wants to get some swagger. I'm not surprised. Especially since it's habit of smoking certain grass types. Since that became a thing. Hmm. However 
I really like its moveset right now. But I might even stick with this long term. This might be its final moveset. I like all its current moves better than Swagger, so I'm gonna not run that. It's okay, Big Snake. You don't need Swagger. You don't need it as a move. You just exude Swagger all the time. You can take down his Galbat. Go ahead and see if you can give it a glare. Oh shit, still confused. Damn it. Dangerous. having bad luck with confusion. Let's see if Sinfin can finish it. I think it, I think Sinfin should be faster. Equal level, let's see who's faster. I believe a Sharpedo would be... Faster. Damn, still not enough. Oh, the rough skin finished it off. Imagine if the way you died was just by rubbing against a Sharpedo. And it being just a little too abrasive. A little too uncomfortable. It just makes you die. You're just that close to dead. You just need something a little abrasive to put you over the edge and make you fully dead. A little sandpaper. <laughs> oh, let him have his fun. He wants to pretend to be a pirate, he wants a pirate ship, and the submarine is as close as he can get to a pirate ship. <laughs> Beyond the Lily Cove. Well, well, hopefully that loser who works for your team and trains a bunch of loser whalemer, who he never trains to do shit, is done training those whalemer to do something. <laughs> and then I'll explore beyond the lake cove. Sick. I'm just sick of seeing those whalemer. Every time I'm going to Lily Cove Beach, that dumb guy. Training his way over. He's blocking the harbor. This is an actual... Well, he's gone now. That's good. Jeez. Let's take a shortcut to the Pokemon Center. Lazy. That guy with the Wilmer, as I was saying, he was basically he was basically blockading this port town from receiving supplies from the east. The entire sea route was blocked. No ships could leave, no ships could come in. So this town was probably about to starve to death. It's good he finally finished training those Wilmer. So ships can now deliver food and other essential goods. 
from the mainland and to the mainland. All right. Well, let's set out into the eastern seas. Assuming my grass types will fare well here. And we should be making port in Moss Deep City in no time at all. There's someone right next to you, and you're participating in a double battle with them. What are you talking about? You're just needy. Declan is needy. And Grace can't stand it. A Gyarados? I think we can take it. First, shoot the marrow full of bullet seed and absorb it as well. Absorb its life essence. Pick off the weak first. Good. And a critical hit. No mercy. No mercy for Meryl. Dragon Ridge. It was feared, quite feared in its portrayal in the anime, in Gen 1 anime. And it's proving somewhat formidable right now as well. That constant 40 HP of damage. That's decently threatening to even a level 44 Pokemon with high HP. I'm kind of impressed. Kind of impressed one of them at a Gyarados. I'll bet it was Grace's. I don't care, there was the male one. It was probably Grace's Gyarados. They have th their names start with the same letter, so Gyarados was Grace's. The marrow failed. As one would expect Declan's Pokemon to. It failed sooner, that is. And onward. Oh, Tentacle. I forgot about Tentacle. Worried about encountering a high level one, or even worse at Tentacruel. Who knows what's in this much much more vast sea of Owen. Look how wide it is. You could just get lost in it. Here's someone. I was just talking about that. Just talking about getting lost in this vast sea. Is he serious? How is he going to be a pilot if he's just a swimmer and doesn't, you know, has no boat to pilot? 
You don't even have a Pelipper whose beak you can hop in like I do. I can, you know, Booger can at least claim to be the pilot of a Pelipper. Which acts very much like a boat. Or a seaplane. Now that her nose fly. Wingle. Showed its superior form. The Swingle is just totally amazed right now. Pelican is gone, and then it appears, and you're dead. Be mystified by Helican's merciless brutality and a nimble ability to fly, evade you, and then kill instantly. He's right. He's right, I should. I can take advice. I heard something about Route 128. Something about a cave there, Stern mentioned. The rare Pokemon. This is like the widest sea route in any Pokemon game, or at least any Pokemon game up till this point. I personally like it. I like the water. They do interesting things with it in this game. Like let you dive into it. This and bro. Oh, a chin chow. Look at that. That's something new. It's kind of nice to see something new. Bullets eat it. And absorb it. Critical bullet seed. And it goes on. Wow. Five hit bullet seed with a critical hit on the third hit. And it's out. Your chin chow just got annihilated. And, and your Carvana just got its life essence absorbed in one hit, one move. One slurp, and Wactus was like, you're done. I knew they would do well here. And now I've scarred these children. I've given them a formative experience in their youth, kind of like Batman with the Joker. <laughs> and now they'll grow up to want to get vengeance on me and stop my menace across Hoenn. Funny thing is, in the Batman movie, the original one with Jack Nicholson, that actually happened. The Joker had a televised broadcast of terror, and we already did that a couple times. At least. <laughs> Oops. We're, we're falling into villain stereotypes, naturally. Oops. What did he say? 
Oh. No wonder she hates him. No wonder she doesn't want to be with him. He reminds her that she doesn't have a boyfriend. Wow. I want to get far away from this drama. I don't want, I don't want anything to do with that. someone else. Do Pokemon only come around to play if you float in the sea, or do they come around to feed on you? I'm just saying, Sharpedo exist. I have one. I think it, I think it might prey on you. It's not the only Pokemon either. Look at Gyarados. You think it's a herb you think it's an herbivore? You think Gyarados wouldn't just come swallow a person? Totally would. Yes, bullet seed the Wilmer. I'm gonna try to thoroughly sweep the sea of swimmers. <laughs> wow, five times again. See, that stick really means it. It has intent to launch a reign of terror on these seas. Maybe Seedistic wants to be a pirate. It's possible there are things about my Pokemon even I don't know. Oh, some Pokemon to watch. You know why they might be watching? They might be stalking their prey. Very typical of predator behavior. They have personalities and predation behaviors. I'm just saying, the Pokedex indicates the vicious realities of Pokemon biology on multiple in multiple enter, entries Pokemon are no joke they're, be, they're to be taken seriously any of these tentacle if they're high enough level will viciously destroy us they all have murderous intent every one of them would kill us if it could just remember that when you're ever traveling these seas in a Pokemon game. Every tentacle wants to kill you. Every one. Double battle ambush. Oh, you're not going to lose to some surfer trainer. Yes, you will. I'm a surfer trainer with grass tapes. Plural. Two water types that will not last long. It's good to have two grass types. I can't say I look like a fool for having two grass types in a game where there are tons of sea routes and tons of water-bearing swimmers and other Pokemon trainers on said routes, some of which ambush you in double battles. Feels good to be well equipped for a situation like this. And mine are dark type, so they're like especially cool, especially cool dark type, especially cool grass types because they're dark. Critical hit, deadly absorb.
How can you have sweat in your eyes? You, you were just swimming. It would be water. He's getting hypothermia. You wish you could not get hypoth hypothermia, but you're gonna. You have no Pokemon. You will succumb to the cold. Just like at the end of Titanic. He wishes he could be in a comfortable, warm Pelipper Bill. It's all nice and cozy and toasty in there. It's the ultimate level of comfort in sea travel. It's better than a luxury yacht. Deep undercover? What does that mean? What is he saying? Nobody dives into the depths just to go deep undercover. Criminals don't run from the law by diving to a deep depth because they can only stay there for a little bit before they have to get, go up for air. I think this guy's really stupid. Faint attack. Damn tentacle. So stubborn. They have high special defense. That's what's making this take long. Dark moves. Or a special type attack. You know. Special attack type in this game. I believe starting in Gen 4, starting in Gen 4, individual moves were either physical or special, or that entire types were Whalemer. Let Wactus have a whack at this Whammer. Whack the Whammer. Absorb its life force. That's whacking in a sense. Look at that. We're so impressed, Wilmer. We're so impressed by your critical astonish. We're critically astonished, can you tell? We're going to kill you with two absorbs. And the damage of your astonish is erased. Your life was insignificant and amounted to nothing. Your Wilmer's self-esteem is also sinking now. Thanks to Booger, you're welcome. Maybe he just really likes diving and is weird. There's more than one diving spot. Multiple. Unfortunately, I'm not equipped to delve into the depths yet, but I will be. And I have two water Pokemon, so we're ready. We're ready to go underwater. Let's go. I'm going to go in a path like zigzagging until I get to Moss Deep. Shoal Cave. Is another location of interest for me. That's all I'll say. I'm anxious to explore there. It'll land there. 
Oh, I already talked to her. She's the one who gets stalked by a Sharpedo. They're closing in for the kill. She should, she should probably move. She should probably go to that little island. A little bit of land. I just... Right here. As high north as I can get. I am, right? Yeah. Okay. Everything east of here is like kind of where Soul Cave is, I believe. There was nothing on this other island, right? Okay. Another swimmer. Where am I now? Like, right next to Moss Deep. Let's take her in. Oh, I already did. See how lost I get? In this vast sea. And moss deep. Land ho. That's the way I would go to get to Soul Cave. I don't think I want to do that quite yet. Is this guy I want to fight? Ah, you can't win at Masty because it's a psychic type gem. You gotta teach your fighting type like a dark type move, dude. Or just get something other than a fighting tape. Most, like, ideally. He teaches dynamic punch? That's generous, but I actually don't want that right now. I don't think any of my Pokemon want that. We're not making fun of you, geez. That guy's too defensive. Why is there another one? Sutopolis. I've heard of this city. This rare, elusive city no one can find. Unless they can dive under the sea. How interesting. This is new for Emerald. Tim had a new leader come in. Interesting, interesting. Wallace's mentor? Even more interesting. I'm excited for that. And we're not that far away either. Just gotta get the seventh badge. Let's invade someone's home and irritate them. Oh, is this something else? What is this? Jump records? What? Dodrio picking? Berry picking? What? The PC? Hmm. What is this place? Not some private home, some business or something. Some wireless communication thing. Oh well. 
I certainly can't do that. And have no interest in it, honestly. See, this guy appreciates the balance of sea and land. Even... Even noting the signif significance of the shoreline. Probably a reference to climate change, changing the shoreline. Hey look, it's Scott. What are you doing in Moss Deep, Scott? Booga! Feeling good? I'm doing great! I'd heard the Moss Deep's gym leader. He's pretty strong, so I decided to come take a look-see for myself. But there's something wrong about this town. People are going on about a warning letter and the space center. I don't think it concerns me in any way, though. I'm increasingly suspicious of Scott, to be honest. It's kind of weird how I keep seeing him everywhere I go. I say that about Steven, too. But I've seen him a little less recurrently, I feel. Scott's especially persistent among my multiple stalkers I've identified in this game. I wish upon nothing, because we believe in science. Keep wishing on your wish tag, it's not going to do shit. You should wish on science. Who's this guy? It's the super odd fisherman. Awesome. Pokemon off the seafloor. That means it's like a deep sea rod. And I've used something like that in real life, because I've gone halibut fishing in the waters off the coasts of Alaska. You use a really expensive, really strong fishing rod to do that. And it's pretty fun. I've lugged rockfish and halibut from the depths in my life. I do want that. Give me the super rod. It really is super, I believe you. If it can lug stuff off the seafloor. Hell yes. Awesome. Got the best rod. I don't actually think I'll use it to catch any Pokemon while adding to my, add to my team at this point, but I'm still excited. Because now I have a complete collection of rods. Let's register the super rod. This isn't a broadcast of Booker's antics, is it? Oh, it is! It is! This might be a little outdated, though. It could be a rerun. This could be from our past. When we even had fewer gym badges, I don't know. It's one of our past interviews. Dominating performance, and the same old lines. You thought you might even be pretty good? How dare you? How dare you presume to call yourself pretty good, Gabby? We embarrassed you and you know it. She's trying to look good on the broadcast, you know. 
for the public. No, you didn't. You didn't have a chance. What, what a lie. You had zero chance. And this just after saying they were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Oh, now changing the story. See how the news just changes things? This is just ridiculous. This is why I don't watch news broadcasts on TV anymore. What does that mean? Struggling against me, you have a ways to go, but... We're already way above you. Way past you. That's right. We replied fear, which you should have of us. Of Booger. Of Sedistic. Of all my Pokemon. Uh-huh. Nuzzle even got turn. They're terrifying, are they not? Nuzzle even got turn into fear. What else can you say? We have good things to say. Things that are good at intimidating people. I don't quite like the way she's framing things. I think the next time we see them, we may be especially brutal. See, Distic and I don't like... don't like the publicity that they're giving us. See, they're not stressing how dominant we are and that we completely mercilessly destroyed them and that that fate will befall any who defy us. So we'll have to make that point next time. It is exhilarating, especially if you get to surf riding in a Pelipper's beak. Because you never know when it might swallow you down and devour you whole. It could. If it can fit you in that beak, it can eat you whole. So you better not wrong your Pelipper or treat it badly if you intend to ride it that way. Ride around in it that way. Booker lives in constant fear, understand. She would never... She would never do anything to anger Pelican or in invoke its wrath. Loosest place to space. Hey, look, it's Steven! And a guy who gave us a sunstone? Amazing. Our stone collection grows. Steven's going to be even more jealous. I'm just going to move over to him gradually, carefully. What is Steven doing here? Again, sort of stalking us, it would seem. Or it's just a crazy coincidence. Alright, Steven. Burger! Have you read that proclamation already? Team Magma is coming after the rocket fuel on this island. I don't know what they need it for, but they can't be allowed to take it. I'll keep an eye on things a while longer. In the meantime, why don't you go check out the town? That's really ominous. How can I check out the town now, Steven? You freaked me out. You always freak me out, to be honest.
That's nice. That guy, that old guy wants to be an astronaut and an astronaut and won't give up. He has no hope of doing it though. Obviously, if he hasn't started at that age. Hard facts. Anything hiding up here? Oh wow, look. They just let a child walk right up to their rocket. I could have sadistic bullet seed this thing. We could do anything. I already went in here, didn't I? No, I didn't. Hmm. I don't envy your Pokemon. Imagine being a Pokemon and having to carry notes of a stupid little child to their boyfriend. And vice versa. Sad. I would never do something to my Pokemon like that. I already talked to him. I might want to stock up a little on supplies. Hyper potion, nice. I have more use for these now, so I'm gonna buy a few. I am rich after all. Take like, let's have 10 total. I'm a big spender now. Booker's moving up in the world. also make up some of that money by selling something like a nugget or two look at that 10,000 made back right there sunstone and firestone art scale does it? That's nice. How many of those do I have? You know, it could be very nice in the future to have a few of those. There might be times in the future I just want to move through an area. I can imagine that. And uh, like, avoiding wild Pokemon would be nice. So, I'll buy a few. Seven, sure. Or just get a good strain from Lava Ridge. The Pokemon will arise, she says. I like that. Arise. Dead Pokemon, arise from the grave. With no PP as a zombie. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that someone is me, Booger. Space Center? I saw nothing awry there. Uh, I guess Steven gave an ominous warning. I had tried to block that out. King's Rock? 
you're giving it away for free? I'm probably not going to use it to evolve a Pulthy World into a Holy Toad, but I'll take one if it's free. Don't call me weird. You're weird for giving it away for free. Interesting. So this is an unwanted gift he received from Steven. Maybe I shouldn't pry into their relationship. You know what's going on. And he knows where Steven's house is. Yeah, I don't need to say anymore. I don't need to ask anymore. That is. I respect people's privacy. With some things. Booger has tact. It's a valuable trait. Having tact. Far too few people have it nowadays. Being able to be tactful in the things you do. Considerate, and so on. Hey, it's Steven's house. It's his rock collection. And his picture book collection. Anything else? More stones. He's a stone addict. Total stone addict. Total stoner. Steven is. It's another word for them. Don't you presume to know what my Nuzleaf likes? I don't believe you. Sure you can. How many people's husbands tell everybody who walks into their house as a visitor, I can tell what Pokeball your Pokemon likes. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Sure, dude. Dude in the next house over can tell what item your Pokemon likes to use on it, or what item it likes to have held. Dime a dozen. And here's the infamous Moss Deep Gym. With the twin terrors, Lisa and Tate, as its leaders. Mystic Combination came later. They were originally known as the Twin Terrors of Moss Deep. There's a history. Hard to talk to him. We need a heal. I think that's enough of this nonsense for now. Hang on. Who's this person here? Standing right next to me as I heal. That's right, it'll be a double battle. save right here and continue the journey next time could take could take on Moss Deep Gym there's something else I could also do I'll play Bayer we'll see till then